Okay, part two. The rest of the story. Yeah, that's what this video is going to be called. The rest of the story. See, this is why I need to come back to work. You know, this is why, you know, this is why I don't want to do surgery. Whew. This is why I don't want to do surgery. This is why I don't want to do surgery. Okay. I, I, there's more, yeah. Just had to fix that stair. It really bothers me. Yeah, everybody gave me shit about that. Yeah. You know you got a loose stair? I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's what I was missing. That's what I was missing. 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 Oh, y'all wait. Y'all wait. <laughs> I was missing the cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. Yeah, that's, that's what keeps my body clean, keeps me, you know, urine clean. Remember that. Remember that. Cranberry juice is good for your kidneys. And I think what another thing is, is what kind of fucked me over is that drinking a goddamn alcohol. Down. I promise you guys no more alcohol until I'm healed. There you go. Because I, well, I was taught that when I was cut my arm off with the chainsaw. Check out that video. I'm going to cut my arm off with the chainsaw. Yeah, I was told from the nurses that drinking alcohol, they, they got upset when I told them that I was drinking alcohol. They said, don't drink alcohol. It slows down your metabolism to heal. Yeah, don't be drinking alcohol. So they tell a lot of people from the hospital, don't be drinking alcohol because it slows down your healing process. And that's probably why I was showing blood. See? All of a sudden, it starts showing blood, right? Yeah, weakened it. But, okay, so. So. So you think you can tell. Heaven from hell. Like, okay, Carl, where did you get the money? Okay, here we are. Story time. Story time. Story time. Okay, Carl, how did you get the money? Okay. Let's see if I got anything of cheese. Ah, oh, fuck. I ain't got no more cheese. Fuck. Damn! No more cheese. Fuck! Fuck! And I just... Aw, oh, man. Well, I got a little bit of cheese. Son of a bitch. Fuck! You're gonna see why I'm kind of upset now. You're gonna see why I'm upset. Oh. I just bought lunch meat. <laughs> I just got lunch meat. Fuck. Well, I, I think I got enough cheese. Let me see. I got these here and I got this here. So I got this much left. Uh, uh, that much left. Fuck. If I would have knew this shit. I'm gonna do what I did last night. What'd you do last night, huh, girl? Huh, huh? What'd you do, girl? Huh? What'd you do last night, girl? Huh? What'd you do last night, girl? Huh, huh? What did you do last night, girl? Huh? 
Yeah, yeah. Fucking had cheese and cheese and what? What? Cheese and what? Cheese and what? What? Cheese and what? Cheese and sausage last night. Okay. Jesus Christ. That was my dinner last night because I had no food. But yeah, 20 again. 20 of them, okay? Two bucks, a buck, a buck, a box. Yeah, and look it. Not lying to you. I was down to the last one. Down to the last one. Okay, so are you guys ready to hear it? You guys ready to hear it? Where did I get money from? Okay, there it goes. Why did you tell you? <laughs> Y'all can probably figure it out. Nope, it wasn't Troy. I think me and Troy are done with money. Because <laughs> I own, I think I own 120. Yeah. I think I own 120. Woo -hoo. Still, that's 120 hours. Right? 120 hours. This is why I need to come back to work. Okay, here it goes, people. I'm going to tell you how I got the money. Oh, yeah, check this out. Check this shit out. At Walmart, with purchase of anything, you buy anything, you get a free light bulb. Ain't that cool? The free light bulb. Huh. I wonder where I should put it. I think I should put it right next to my Charlie Brown Christmas tree. So freaking cool. <laughs> now I got a green light next to my Charlie Brown Christmas tree. So freaking cool. Oh, look what I got here. <laughs> look what I got here. Okay, this is, this is to represent my mother. Remember I had that bag of chips? Look at that. Look at that. Yes, I'm going to put this right in the front room. I know why my mom liked those chips because they're cheap. Well, that was four bucks that bag, so they're not cheap. No, but that's the party family size. Those hill chips. If you ever have diarrhea, I'll tell you a secret. If you ever have diarrhea, eat them chips. You ain't gotta eat a lot, just enough. It would soak up whatever's inside you, that liquid or whatever, it soak it up, and you won't no more diarrhea. There you go. 
Look what else I got. I got all this. Oh yeah. Y'all know what's coming up, right? Y'all know what's coming up? Live stream. <laughs> the first time I get live stream on, I'm gonna suck some eggs. Yes. Suck some round, brown, raw eggs. Yes. That should help to call in, huh? Hey, hey, yeah. I'm going to do it for y'all. An egg, an egg for a sub. There you go. Don't remember that, right? Because I'm that freak. Remember? I'm a freak. The freaks come all that night. The freaks come all that night. Another one goes, another one goes, another one bites the dust. Okay, it gets you to another one bites the dust. Okay, so yeah. I think I did all right. Well, oh, you're still wondering how did I get the money? Okay, this is it. I hooked up with the ex girlfriend. No, well, we didn't have sex, but I caught her up. I made a deal with her. Let's negotiate. Okay? I owe her 20 bucks, right? Remember that, right? Because she gave me 20 bucks to go ride with her, but I said, well, I go with her if you loan me 20 bucks. So, so I, that's always right here. You know? So I said to her, I said, hey, look, I'll make you a deal. Friday, next coming Friday, you loan me 20 bucks and I'll give you 50. I said, you're making a $10 profit. And she goes, woo, woo, $10. I go, hey, that's a lot of money for me. No? Well, knowing her, she's probably thinking, well, would I rather have 20 or would I rather have 50 Nice, crisp $50 bill. Now she's thinking what she can do with that $50 bill. There you go, see? Yeah. So that's what happened. Yeah. So uh, she said, if I ever need anything, just give her a call. There you go. She loves money, so do I. This is the reason why I need to come back to work. Okay? So I don't have to borrow no more money. I'm tired of borrowing money. But I just made a video about that, didn't I? Yeah. I just made a video about that. I wish I could get some fucking money. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So all this time I'm thinking, like, okay. My ex-girlfriend. Can't see her name. But. I said, all right, I owe her 20. If I make a deal with her, she likes making money, free money. So 10 bucks is a lot of money. I bought all that food with 20 bucks. Yeah, all that food with 20 bucks. Like the bread, two bucks. Okay, the eggs, two bucks. Okay, so then uh, the lunch meat, two bucks. That's six bucks. Three things, six bucks. Then I got uh, two of the drink mixes. That's 10 bucks. You can get all that with 10 bucks. Just think about it. Eggs, bread, lunch meat, and fucking drink mix for 10 bucks. I am smart. And you get a free light bulb. So, you got 10 bucks to spare, huh? There you go. See, I'm smart. My mama didn't raise a dummy. And then, so I had an extra 10 bucks. So then I got the cranberry juice. That's 5 bucks, almost 6 bucks, you know. Cranberry juice, and then I got the orange juice. The orange juice is two fifty. So then I figured, well, huh, let's get some chips. Yeah, those chips are okay. Them are potatoes, right? Real potatoes. There you go. See, I'm happy. If you're happy, you know, clap your hands. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling a lot fucking better. Plus, I came home with change. Yeah, 98 cents. I put that in my change jar. Watch it grow. Watch it grow. Watch it grow. See, now I got, I got money. Plus, I got what I needed. The drink mix. I needed that. And I got a whole bunch of water. See? Oh, that's the mission that I'm doing right now. Okay. Mission conquered. Concrete admission. Okay. So that's it here. Put this up here. Whoo. Uh, let's put this water down. Whoa, this water's almost gone. Okay, right there. Right here. Put this down there. That down there. Okay. Put that right there. Alright. 
on. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can balance this door. Just before. Come on. Come on. There you go. Egg sandwiches. Woohoo! I love egg sandwiches. Watch this. Watch this, people. Ta da! Look at that. Uh, huh? Thanks to Troy. Thanks to Troy. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay, thanks to Troy. Okay. Now I got water. Got water. Got cranberry juice. I got orange juice. Pills. The only thing I'm going to be running out of is my Zantrac. Oh boy. That's for my allergies. 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 Okay. So hey. You know, I, I actually feel better. feel better. Hmm. So, let's do, well, let's, let's do a chill, chill, chill time, okay? Alright, it's time to chill. Time to chill. You know I'm hungry. I was going to stop at McDonald's. Oh yeah! Ah, Burger King's almost done in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. Check it out, the new Burger King. I gotta put that shit on YouTube. That's what I gotta live for. Oh my god, I can't wait. I can't freaking wait. Burger King. It's all gonna be brand new. Everything's gonna be brand new fucking new. See, they shut down the old Burger King because they had roaches in their fucking malt shakes. Somebody got a malt shake and there was a cockroach in there. Psst, that shut that shit down real quick. You know what? Who owns it now, that place? That same fucking building? <laughs> yeah, fucking uh, Lawrence Mead. Yeah, from fucking Vacation Home. is the one that cut my arm off with the chainsaw. Yeah, he, he, he's a billionaire now, I guess, you know. He's like, yeah, go cool figure, right? Yeah. yeah he, I was working for him. And he didn't have workman's comm at the time, but I started him out with that fucking business. And I never, he bought like three vehicles. I detailed them. He sold them. Then he bought six vehicles. I detailed them, and he sold them. Then he bought 12 vehicles. I detailed them. So then he bought that fucking the Eastern Motors up in Adams, he bought that fucking place, and I, I helped him fix up that fucking place, you know, putting rails around there and shit, and, yeah, cut all the grass and that, then he brought out the property, and brought out the property, and then he fucking turned all into a big parking lot, and he fucking grew, 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 and then now he fucking spawned out, he got one in Portage, he's got one in Beaver Dam, he's got one in, in fucking, uh, uh, He's got one in uh, Bearable, yeah. Who knows how many more? Yeah, and he started off with nothing. I imagine I, I give him credit. Yeah, and if I didn't sign that paper with him, you know, saying that I can't come back in the future and sue him for something else, you know, cause I, I, I got fucked. I got fucked because he didn't have workman's comp. Now, if he had workman's comp, I could have got more therapy, longer time in the hospital, because he had us get uh, health insurance. 
Dean cares. Really, Dean care don't really fucking care. The only reason why they paid for the mid flight because it was life or death situation. They weren't going to pay for that. $10,000 just for the fucking helicopter ride from Portage to Madison. They weren't going to pay for it. Dean care. My health insurance that he had. Had they even give blood draw to see if he had AIDS. That's what they did back then. This is back in 1989. You know. And then, uh. Because he had me at Dean Care, Dean Care only paid for six days in the hospital. They said I should have been in there longer. You know, I should have been in the hospital longer. But Dean Care only paid for six days. They had to teach me how to walk and everything within three days. Because I, I, you know, it was a bullshit fucking deal. I just cut my arm out with a chainsaw. They took a vein out of my leg. They took a bone out of my hip. You know, put me back together. Forty-seven thousand dollars. You know. And rushed me out of the hospital within six days. Shit, I was in the hospital longer here in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. I was in the hospital longer there just because I had a temperature of 130 degrees. And I had a blood pressure of 270. With a torn colon and a hole in my bladder. They sent me home in the same shape I was when I walked in. And I was in there for two fucking weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, imagine that, huh? Dean care. Fucking bullshit. So anyways, awesome. Dean Care only paid for 17 visits of therapy. They said I needed at least two or three years of therapy. How to walk and how to, you know, move around and how to use my hand. I, see, I can't even do fucking Ponzi. I can't do that. See, if I close my hand, my thumb won't come up. People try to point I'm like, dude, you're going to break it. See, right here, that tenant broke right there. See that tenant? See? See that? See that indentation? How would you like to deal with that, huh? The scarring and everything. Look at that. You know how bad I feel? And when I put church on, you see that long-ass scar from my ankle all the way up to my knee where they cut me open, they cut my leg open to take out the vein. And that scar on my hip. You know, I got that big nasty scar on my hip where they took a bone out of my hip. They took a bone out of my hip, the size of my thumb, and they put that in there and bone graft it. With two, two steel plates with 12 screws. They said, because he didn't have workman's comp, I could have sued that motherfucker for his whole fucking life. I could have been getting money from him for the rest of his fucking life. He would have lost his business, and he'd come knocking on my door where I was living in Portage, the city apartments. He'd come knocking on my door saying, what's going on? And he says, if I take him to court for $47,000, that's what I was going for. That's what my lawyer was going for. Because one day I was uh, working for this one guy doing some carpentry work. And I heard on the radio, I heard on the radio. He says, what's going on here? I says, well, I was doing some carpentry work and I work ran out. You know, and I, you know, I heard on the radio, you know, if you were ever injured at a job and you don't believe that you were taken care of right, they didn't have workman's comp or whatever. You give us a call. It was 255-HELP. Yeah, 255-HELP. And I wrote that down. 255-HELP. Spelled the letters. You know, that's the phone number. 255-HELP. And I called him up and I told him about my story. He would come on in. So he didn't have workman's comp. I'm like, no. You cut your arm off? Come on in. We're going to make some money. Okay, that's how it started, and that's what I told him. Exactly what I told him. Exactly what I told him. I said, hey, I can't get a job. My arm is fucked up. You know? Sure, it got stronger and got better, but, you know, I got disabilities now. Everything I do, I care about. See how big how this hand is and how little this hand is? See how big this hand is and see how little this hand is? Because this hand does everything. All the fine finger dexterity, I keep my coins in my left pocket because only my left hand can feel it. I can't feel nothing with this hand. It's fucking dead. You know, no feeling. The only thing I can feel with is my pinky. And that's the only part that didn't get cut. If you see the scar, right here it didn't get cut. This much material was hanging. The arm was hanging. I flopped it against my chest. It's just fucking hanging there by a piece of fucking flesh. Tell me I, I shouldn't get, you know. So what he told me, 
comes to my apartment, you know, and he tells me, he's a big guy, he's kind of intimidating, Lawrence Mead. He tells me, look, Carl, I can't afford $47,000. If I do that, I'm going to go bankrupt, and you ain't going to get shit. He said, I'm not threatening you, I'm not, not, not trying to scare you or nothing, but I'm telling you, if you sue me for $47,000, you ain't going to get shit because I'm going to go bankrupt. I lose my business, I lose everything. So then he also made me a deal. I'll give you $10,000 in 30 days. $10,000, bam. And then I want you to sign a piece of paper saying that you can't come back in the future saying that you're going to sue me for something else because, like, no, you know, I should be covered for the rest of my life. I almost died for that guy. Well, it's not his fault. It's his ex-wife's. He divorced her right away. Right away. Becky, he divorced her right away. He says, because of you, I almost had one of my employees die because of her. So what do y'all think, you know? Like, even though I signed that piece of paper, you know, Lawrence, if you give me a fucking truck, I'd be happy. Give me a new truck, you know. Is that going to put a little big dent in your pocket? No. Probably wouldn't make no difference. Give me a fucking truck and I'll be happy. That's the only thing I want is a good, nice truck, four-wheel drive, Chevy truck, white Chevy truck. I'd be happy. I will be spit on the hand, shake. I'd be happy. That's it. I don't want, I don't want him to support me the rest of my life. No. Just, you know, give me a truck, you know. Fuck. I'll call it Joe. He's a fucking billionaire. Fuck. Jack could live in a truck. Uh-huh. Hey, you know? Truck could get a camper or whatever. Hold with the truck. I could get a job sitting on my ass plowing snow. Get a plow on there? Yeah, I want a truck with a plow. There you go. I want a nice truck. Nice big four-wheel drive truck. That's all I want, Lawrence. Mr. Lawrence Mead, that's all I want. You know, and then we'd be, we'd be square. Because so I got this disability. You know? I'm going to be facing bankruptcy. <laughs> Should have called that guy up. Blew that fucking deal too now. I'm getting sued. I'm getting sued. I'm getting sued from, uh, some of my credit union, and I'm getting sued from, uh, Pink Farm. I'm just waiting for the cops to come knocking on my door. So I could get six years in prison. Six years in prison. Because I owe them $3,000. Well, put me in prison for $3,000. You know, go for it. What else can fucking happen to me? You need to get fucked by Big Bubba? Well, I've been sticking my fingers up my ass to loosen it up. <laughs> so it won't hurt as much. <laughs> I laugh at him. His dick will go soft. And he's like, you know, that don't hurt. Is that all you got? <laughs> yeah. Well, you can suck my cock. I'll bite that motherfucker off. I must not got much teeth right here. I got these teeth right here. And I got those right there. See that? Oh, yeah. yeah. If I can bite an apple, I can bite a fucking dick off. I'll bite that motherfucker off. And then eat it. You know? <laughs> That'd be the last stick they stick in my mouth. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Okay, so. So, uh, should I eat or should I starve or. Huh. You got Dr. Jones up here. November 16th. Huh. Dr. Jones, November 16th. Oh, that's coming right up, ain't it? Well, huh, I think it's at 2.30. Oh, shit, I ain't gonna make that appointment, am I? I'm going back to work. Yep, 2.30. Huh. Won't be able to make it, sorry. Yeah, because he gave me those fucking heart pills. 